Hey, Mark. So we just went over January stats for Barry. Now we're going to look at the January stats for Innisfil. Yep. So I'll share the screen with you here. And we'll take a look. Okay. So 2024 January, 29 sales, 2023, 33, 2023, 33, 12% decrease in sales. Yep. Barry saw a 29% increase. And let's talk about that before we go further and cut you off there for a sec. Because as we know, the Innisfil community doesn't have the amount of homes and doesn't have the low price point homes as the community of Barry has, right? As mm -hmm. we know, we've been talking about this for a long time now, that that community in Innisfil's, you know, again, here's the average, but let's call it nine, but, you know, that's not a real true reflection of what the inventory is. The reflection is million plus, million two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It goes up. Right? Well, There's listen, a this is this is why this is actually kind of good because it shows you one thing that we've been saying. So the average sale price is at eight ninety nine, basically nine, and in twenty twenty three it was at eight nineteen. Yep. So it was an eight point nine percent actually increase. Mm -hmm. But there was less sales for it to be um, averaged out over. So mm -hmm. the average is not really reflective of that's what we were trying to say before, no, right? It's not reflective at all. Right. And we both know this average goes up and down based on the properties that are sold in that current period. So, you know, what I what this is telling me now a bit more than it has been in the, in the past is that we're starting to see some activity, even though the sales are less. We're starting to still see some of these prices, some of these homes in this will start to sell. And we're going to go through that with the viewers of what's selling there. And we're going to and pay close attention to what what the what the average days on market, but sorry, the average days, but the list price, the sale price and the amount of days on market. And I, I bet it's going to be very, it's going to be 70, 80, 90, 120 days. We pull, I know already without even looking at some of these sales, because in the past, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be interesting to, to, to see, but you know, less sales. Well, well are, we mm -hmm. also still have 205 in, uh, listings active and mm -hmm. there was only 191 which is only a 6.8% increase yeah. in listings where Barry had a 31% yeah. increase. Essa has a 36% increase. Innisfil's yeah. inventory level actually didn't get a huge increase. doesn't have a huge increase. No, no. no. I think there's a few reasons for that, but I think that could be a whole other video to be honest. But I, I just think, you know, because people, the high price point homes are taking a long time to sell. So, you know, do you want to put up for sale and be like everybody else and get frustrated? Probably not. It's the right time is not to do that right now. Let's, I think those properties down there in that community, because they're so higher priced than what we're seeing in, 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 in Barrie, that they will start to, to get busier down there as we see some rate decreases come along. And we're going to see that this year. And everyone's, and I don't think it's going to be robust decreases right not going to be point and a half gone or what that's just not going to have they're going to go small mm -hmm. so, but so i think i'm pulling up some sales and these are those modular homes in the 300s on uh and on um and this is vacant land on lebanon um in San, those uh modular homes in sandy cove acres the the retirement community so this one on Limerick was on the market. Well, I think it was on longer. Uh, it was six twenty four list sold for six oh five, and this is a really small little wee house, right? Like it's it's small. It's an old cottage down there that we've seen years ago when we were down there. Exactly. So, small. Exactly. But, so what um, I want to see is, was it actually on the market? There we go. Started off at five ninety nine, then went to six twenty four. Six days later, seven days later. 
So it's been on the market since actually October yeah. 24th, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so then if you go up into, hey, hey go remember back. Lambstone, the townhouses? Let's go back to that listing though. Let's go through the days on market. How many days on market? Probably 35, 40. It was from October, the, uh, October 20th. Yeah, so almost 50 days. Okay. Well, so okay. you know, you remember um, Lambstone townhouse? Yeah. Okay, let's so go this through. Is, this is a big one. It was listed at six ninety nine. dollars um, yeah. It says on the market 27 days. Yeah. I bet you it's longer. Um, sold for six eighty one. Ninety seven percent the list price, sale price. Let me see the history quick. Why can't I just see it? Oh, address history. You're doing the other one. So it was again October twenty sixth, seven oh five. Yeah. Right. So it's been on there for a lot longer than it's saying too, right? Yep. And so if we go back to the listing, three beds, three bath, it's a nice town. Those are nice townhouses. Yep. They got room. Nice layouts. Yeah. Yep. And and they're big. They're big. Yeah. They're big. You just feel how some nice townhouses, eh? They do. They, they, they do. There's not many of them for sale, but they have... Depending on some areas, you got some good size um, ones down there for sure. Like size. nicer than most of the average berry ones, I think. Percent, hundred percent. So that was six ninety nine. So for six eighty one. Twenty seven days. Mm hmm. So. Hey, so here's some notes things. Whoa, slow down a little bit. Go back up. Look at the jump. So we again excluding the modular homes, but look at the amount of inventory. Only twelve properties that price from three fifty to six eighty one. Twelve. Yes. And look at the jump; it goes boom, higher, higher than in, in, than into the higher ranges. Well, one is seven hundred five. Then we go eight thirty, eight thirty five, eight eighty, nine eighty. There's only three in the eight hundreds. No. Well, no. Then we're at nine eighty, and then eight forty five, eight ninety nine, eight thirty, nine ten, nine fifty, nine fifty. Like. Yep. They're all pretty high. And we're right into the million dollar one. So for 29 listings I've sold, so 23 of them were under a million. So not it just so I'm not surprised. So it just seems like a lot of the higher price foreign properties. And I want you to go back when we're done and see how much properties are over a million active today down there and up. Okay. This one sold at 845. Let's on the market, through. 85 days on Jack Crescent. Yeah. It was dated. It needed stuff. 94% on sale price, list price. 67 days in the market. This got full price on the market, yeah. 67 days. Yeah. 50, 60 days on the market, basically. Sold for 830. That looks like a pretty big house for 830. Yeah, probably 2000. And then we're seeing, this is we're seeing the same thing in Barry, right? 20, 30, 40, 70 days, and they start selling. This is 950. It's decent size. Oh, it's a big house. Yeah. New build. Yep. Mm. 950. I think this is a total new build. 70 days of market. Assignment sale, Mark. Yeah, run away. <laughs> Don't buy them. You got questions them call me direct that's a that's a four hour video yeah so here we're getting into over a million bucks on the oh, market 42 days a million 95 so for a million 50 96 sell price list price there are a dime a dozen down there these yep and when we're, we're done the video we're going to go back and see the inventory and i'm sure the viewers are gonna make sure you're sitting down if you're a seller because i already know what it's gonna look like so this has been on the market 35 days, 1.15, so for 1125. This is in Cookstown. Yeah. Now Cookstown is a little look at that view, Mark. Yeah, no, it's you, right? That almost looks like a picture. 
doesn't it? No, no, it does. Yeah. Nice home. Nice. Small uh, though. Look, small, but well done. I can tell by the exterior that there was some work done inside. Right? You can just it's nice. It is nice. It's got I think this has a lot of land too. Yeah, it's got some backs onto a field. Yeah. What um how long in the market? 35 days. You want me to check the history? Uh, history. Okay, that's it. That's it. So yeah. how many properties over a million that have sold down there? Well, this... it's under 1,500 square feet, eh? No, it's not that big. Yeah. Small. Look. Small. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, this one's 6.5. It's a farm. So we got 10. Okay. <clears throat> out of the 34. Okay. This one actually, Nantire got over asking. It was at 1195, still for 1.31. Well, nice three. Mm -hmm. days three on days on the market, Mark. Big hope. I'm actually shocked. Me too. I didn't like the siding on it. I don't like the lay. I don't mind the layout. The floors are all different. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Some have paid way too much. I don't like that at all. I don't like the kitchen either. Too much going on there at that place. Well, I have an issue with the the rust color in the in the countertops, and then the the backsplash and stuff just kind of looks. It just looks all old school, right? Like, what does it have that's so great here? I don't like the Look at the floors and the, the contrast it brings. I don't like it at all. I think someone paid some big bucks. It's a big house. It is. It is. It's a lot of money. They got, like, over asking. Why? How much land? Even... How much was the lot size? I'm going to look right now, yeah. Yeah. Shit, that's a lot of money for that. I think so too. 108 by 151. Any history? Pull the history on to see what. I'd be curious. So for 955 in 2019. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Right? That's, you go back. Okay. So if you like the content, give it a like, give it a share. Subscribe oh, you wanted to see what was listed, didn't you? I do, but I'm gonna. You're gonna do that, and I'm gonna talk about the share and, and likes and, and following. Okay, so what do you want me to look at? I want you to go to the actives in Innisfil for a million and over. How much inventory is there? Okay, go ahead, and you can tell everybody right. what to do now. <laughs> what he did, and then he interrupted me. <laughs> um. Wow. Nine. Jesus Christ. Hundred nine. So there's how many listeners? I think there's 210, 205. Half of them are over a million. Yeah. And we only seen 10 sold. Yeah. So less than 10% of the inventory in that higher range is turning over in the community. And we've seen this all year long. All year long. And I don't the only time it's going to get better at these high prices is, is if rates come down. Well, there's a shit ton at like one, one to one, three. Look at, I'm on. Once. Oh, I'm at 50 pages. I'm at oh. 50. I'm now at. Right. And, and you made a comment. Well, why aren't they, you know, listings are pretty flat to last. Year. Why bother listing? But you're competing with all this stuff. Unless you have something that's really out of the park. Stands out list. But if it blends in with everything else out there, don't. Bother. Mark, look at this one, 1. 1.749 on Leonard. I remember I saw it coming up. It's waterfront. Oh, I love Leonard. I love the street. But he's that's, gonna, look how gonna, small it is. It's tiny. Yeah, he's going to get it though. As soon as his warm weather comes along. Uh, so it's been on the market. It says 32 days. This is too too early. And I know, and the tax is here. I don't, I got $7,200 because it's on the water, right? 
buried, that'd be like 15,000. And it sold for 1.3 million in 2021. Yep. It was at one, it was listed last July at 1799. Yeah. And now we're at 1749. They only went down by 50 grand. How long was it listed for in, in last year, Diane? Since yeah. July 10th. And when did it expire? I wonder what, how long, how many days? I'm just curious. 92. 92. This is it. When? July. You need to list that a lot earlier. Mm -hmm. I July wonder if they changed agents. Go back to history. Nope. Same agent. All right. You may get it, but why would you list that 32 days ago in January? <laughs> It's people aren't looking for those. What we see in activity, a buyer looking for that as soon as we see in March, April, right? Ice is coming off, warm, sunny days, people feeling good. They're not feeling good in January. No, well, I have a guy looking for waterfront right now up a little bit north. And we're looking now for that reason, though, because the thought process is um, if they've been listed all winter, maybe we can get a deal now. Maybe, maybe. Because nobody's selling waterfront or not a lot, list it now. So if they're listed now, they have to sell. That's the Maybe. thought process. Yeah, you never know. Well, we're going to list it. I think so we it, covered it. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, it's still struggling yeah. there. Still struggling. Nothing has changed. We keep repeating it, but, you know, sellers, it, I don't know what to say that you're competing with 105 listings, a million and over, and we're not seeing turns in that. And we're seeing 10% of that market selling down there. Just like we've seen all year long. All year. So I don't know if it's going to get better. I think it will only get it's only going to get better once we see rates come down. People I agree. More affordability for people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks for the video. Thanks for the chat. No Have problem. See ya. See ya.